So using the T-spheres on the face, you could use either sides. I'm using the small here to focus on my sinuses, going up towards the eye, out underneath the cheekbone, and then towards the ear. You can also use this to relieve tension from TMJ syndrome through the temporal mandibular joint, up all the way to the upper orbit above the brow ridge. It's gonna be from eye strain due to computer use, due to long waking hours. Here's more work in the jaw, just trying to go with the muscle in a circular action, create some circulation. Now positioning the ball at the base of the skull, going down along behind the sternocleidomastoid, which attaches from the base of the skull to the sternum, just rolling down towards the collarbone. Pausing wherever you feel tension you'd like to release. I'm letting my head lean in the opposite direction to increase the pull there and the release. Specific places to position the T-sphere as you're applying pressure along the sinus points, from the sides of the nose, nostrils, up to the eyes, and then down outward underneath the cheekbones to the TMJ, your temporal mandibular joint. To complete work on the sinuses, you would go up above the brow ridge, out to the temples, which can address eye strain and face tension. Back under the jaw, going all the way to the chin. To further release the cranium, you would position the T-sphere underneath the occiput, and then make a, another point right at the temple. And then you're gonna complete a triangle going down towards the sternum. Those three points behind the ear, down towards the collarbone, up into the jaw. If you experience hip tightness or piriformis pain, maybe sciatica, while seated, you can let the ball sink into the side of your glute. You just want to place it right there and sit in, breathing into that spot. You can also use both balls to get both sides of the glutes, either sitting or lying down. For the upper body, you can place the T-sphere against a wall. You want to place it right at the inside of your shoulder blade. While leaning into the wall, you can slowly circle your arm and breathe into it as you continue to circle, letting the muscles between your shoulder blade release. Another great thing to do is use both balls against the wall, putting it anywhere along the spine that feels tight. So you're going to settle into it. You can roll through to find where it feels like it's right for you, going either side to side or up and down. If you find a spot that feels particularly triggered, let it settle. Breathe into it, and then move on to a different spot. You can also take a roll down to let the ball stay in one spot, letting the top of your head drop, and go through the spine until you feel a gentle stretch. If you find a spot that's super tender, hang out, breathe, feel your feet, and relax into it. Against the wall or seated or lying on your back, you can go from the top of the spine all the way down hitting each segment alongside the spine to the top of the hips.